Start with Die, episode four, divergent thinking. Divergent thinking is just di- different thinking than from what the majority of people are doing. In this basketball example, I'm doing a full speed left-handed hook coming across the lane. The sky hook was famous, made famous by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I think he played in the um, 70s at UCLA under John Wooden, he played with the Lakers. Nobody uses the sky hook anymore, especially not guards. So using it as a guard is super helpful. It's widely known as the most unguardable shot. Players don't do it right-handed, let alone left-handed. So I'm trying to perfect my right and left-hand hook as a guard. Coming across the lane, it's pretty easy to score once you master this. Okay, so that's the drill you want to do if you want to add in the guard moves like this. Behind the back, between the legs, hip switch, one-handed left-hand pass. Okay, you can add it in or you can just go pure hooks. And I'm trying to condition myself. I was playing basketball early today, didn't get enough fun in. And when everybody leaves, that's when the uh, magic is made, the money is made. <clears throat> when you stay longer than the next guy, when you put in more work than the other guy, whether or not you're the best player or the worst player, always striving to be better. Um, here, I'm motivating one of the players that stuck around to run a little bit more just to get in better condition. He said he was going to do some conditioning, and he'd been sitting for a long time, and I uh, kind of egged him on to get up and start running some more. So maybe you'll see him in a little bit. So back to divergent thinking. Divergent thinking, if you're too divergent, a magnitude too far, a standard deviation too far, 10% too far, 10 times too far, people will immediately reject your way of thinking because it's too foreign, it's too strange. This is one of the problems I ran into a lot because my, my thoughts were too divergent. If you're too divergent, you are met with that rejection. But what I found is there's a sweet spot. It's about four, five, six percent difference. And this is very common. Um, It's palatable for you to just be a little different, not completely different. So where you get completely outcasted by the group, familiar enough, but different enough. This happens with music all the time. Artists will remix certain songs or take samples from different little songs. But if you are too different, if you try to create a new genre on, on your own, it's, it's usually met with resistance. So you have to make it different, but just that little bit different. Four to six, four to five, that range. If you're going 10% different, it looks too weird. Say I completely, I don't know, shot with my foot or did a 360 hook layup it would be too strange but since people have seen the hook they are familiar with it they've never seen it from a guard they've never seen it from somebody shooting this far running this fast they've never seen it with the left hand As you can see i'm basically doing like a mid-range there he goes that guy got up i mean i'm missing i'm not i'm not a master of these shots by any means especially at, at the speed i'm going at and how far I'm going. But the idea is, right, I'll say many times over, sweat more in training, bleed less in war. So I'm going faster than the game speed that I would normally be going at um, with the players that I play at. But coming across the lane like this, it's slow enough where people aren't expecting it and it's an actual easy shot to take. You just gotta work on making it. So that's all it is for today's Star Wars Dive left hand hooks coming across the lane until next video take 14 minutes 24 seconds or one percent of your day to get better